how's it going? As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day and I'm taking advantage of it and I'm filming this video outside. Well, it's Friday and we're going to do a Q&A Friday. And every Friday, I'm going to answer your burning questions. So if you have a question you've been wondering about, something about the English language that confuses you, an expression that you don't understand, put it in the comments now. Put it in the comments and I'll add it to my list for next video lessons on Q&A Friday. And of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you become a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. And in this video, I'm going to answer one of my students' questions and I'm going to tell you about the best podcast for learning English. So let's dive in and get started. in the Finally Fluent Academy asked me a while ago now actually, but he asked me, Jennifer, what podcast can I use to learn English? And I thought this was an awesome question, especially since I recently got into podcasts. To be honest, I never really listened to podcasts before, but I've started listening to them and I really enjoy them. So I thought this question was quite timely. Now, I wanna be clear about something. When you're listening to a podcast for learning English, I highly recommend that you just listen to the podcast, okay? Don't worry too much about what they're saying, what things mean. Don't worry about it, just enjoy it. Enjoy listening to the podcast because here's the deal. Your brain is learning, okay? Your brain does not just learn when you're studying a definition in a textbook. That's one way that your brain learns, of course, that's when you're actively learning, but your brain is processing information all the time. It never stops. That's your brain's only job, okay? So let's say you're in the car, you're driving to work, and you have your favorite favorite podcast on in the background. Now, you're just listening to it. You may not really understand what's going on. You may only understand every fourth word or something like that, but don't mistake it. Your brain is learning. It's learning sentence structure. It's learning pronunciation. It's learning new expressions in context. It's doing so much. So I highly recommend that if you're using podcasts to learn English, that you just listen to them and don't focus too much on them. Because if you focus on every single word you don't know, you're going to be pausing that podcast all the time. And it's not going to be a very enjoyable task. So just know that your brain is learning in the background. Okay, so that's just my overall recommendation on how to use podcasts. Now, what podcast should you listen to? Now, no, I'm not going to try to sell you on my podcast because I don't even have a podcast. What do you guys think? Should I start a podcast? Put it in the comments. Do you think I should start a podcast? Yes, no, baby. Okay, regardless, I don't have one right now. So what podcast should you listen to? Here's the deal. There are podcasts on every topic imaginable under the sun. So I suggest that you find a podcast according to your interests. So you like cooking? Find a cooking podcast. You like sailing? Find a podcast about sailing. You like traveling? find a travel podcast. Okay, so find a podcast according to an interest, something that is a hobby or just something you want to learn more about. I don't recommend that you find a podcast specifically designed to help you learn English. Why? 
because you need to just live in English, okay? Listen to a podcast for enjoyment and also then all the vocabulary that you learn in that podcast is going to be relevant to your hobby. So if you like sailing and let's say you learn a lot of vocabulary about sailing naturally from listening to this podcast, and then you can go and join a Facebook group on sailing and you can have conversations with native English speakers about sailing because you learned all of this vocabulary about sailing in the podcast, okay? I don't know where sailing comes from. I'm sure there's a sailing podcast out there, but I've never sailed in my life. So I don't know where that example came from. But anyway, I'm sure there are a lot of people who do enjoy sailing. Now, I do have a specific recommendation and I'm just going to tell you about a podcast that I like. But you guys have to understand that my interest is personal development and professional development as well. So I listen to a lot of podcasts on business based topics. If that doesn't interest you, if you're like, Oh, I don't care at all. I just want to learn about cooking. Well, then this is not the podcast for you. Okay. But you, if you are interested in business ideas or strategizing about business, learning more about business in general, then I highly recommend the podcast called entrepreneurs on fire. This is a really popular podcast. Okay. It's pretty well known and regarded in the podcast sphere. It's very business focused, but notice entrepreneurs on fire. Notice that expression to be on fire, to be on fire is when you are performing at a really, really high level when you're just doing an amazing job. So you can already tell that this podcast is going to help you learn so many natural expressions because it's by a native English speaker. It's for other native English speakers and you're going to learn real English, which is really amazing. Okay. And the other reason why I love this podcast is because there's a new episode every single day, every day. So you can watch this or listen, <laughs> listen to this podcast every day while you're driving to work or every day while you're weeding your garden, doing some chore, you know, just put on your podcast and you can learn English and learn about business at the same time. And the final reason why I love this podcast and why I recommend it to my students is because every day on the podcast, they interview someone different. Okay. So every day it's a new interview with a native English speaker, which means you're going to be exposed. So to so many different accents, so many different styles of speech, so many different backgrounds as well. So it's going to hold your attention because you know, you watch my channel, which is awesome. I'm so have you do, but you're getting comfortable with how I speak with my accent. But with every single day, if you listen to different native speakers, they're going to come from all over, you know, the world, all over different English speaking countries. And I'm sure there's non native English speakers on the podcast as well, but you're going to be exposed to so many different accents, which I think is great for your listening skills. So, Ultimately, to sum it up, my recommendation is that you find a podcast according to your interests, okay? If you're interested in business development, then I highly recommend the podcast Entrepreneurs on Fire. All right, there you go. That's my Q&A Friday, helping you decide what's the best podcast for learning English. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com and download your free speaking guide where I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And until next time, happy studying. All right.
Hey, don't stop here. Check out this video. And don't forget about this video.